If you've been watching my videos lately, you've probably noticed there's been a fair bit of quadcopter related stuff. Um, basically just footage taken from the copters themselves. Um, just wanted to give a bit of an overview of what I've actually been doing or using. Um, so as you can see here, I've got a few different quadcopters. Um, just stacked on top of each other for a bit of size, size reference. Um, so yeah, these are all quadcopters. Um, the two on the top here are actually um, pre-made. Uh, they're actually little ones from Jaker. Um, they probably go under some different names and stuff as well. But yeah, this is this is what I sort of started out with. Um, I did have another quadcopter I was trying to DIY as well that used the brushless motors and stuff, but. Um, Never really got anywhere with that. Um, I think what might have happened is the control board. Um, I was using basically a cheap Hobby King um, control multi-wear control board that I put the um, what was it called Mega Pirate firmware or whatever on. But yeah, never had any good results with that at all. Um, so you know whether the board was just old and the sensors were outdated. I mean it is so. It could just be the uh, PID tuning. I don't know. I've never been able to get it to work properly. So. Um, so yeah, this is a little one I started off with. Um, these quadcopters have actually been great in um, basically just learning how to fly them because um, they fly exactly the same way, like all of them fly the same way. Um, and these things are practically indestructible. I mean, I've crashed these things so many times and they just keep going. So yeah, this little mini one there. This one on top is also from Jaco as well, um, which you can see is obviously a lot bigger. Uh, this one here is actually pretty good. Um, I have done a video of footage taken from this one as well. Uh, probably the first video you'll see. Um, so yeah, it can actually lift a camera. Um, I've got here, I don't know where I put it now, but it's basically one of the J-Car GoPro clones. This little thing here. And it is fairly light, but um, it's only 720p. It's got a little mount on it. Um, so that's what the first, well, that's what all the footage would have come off. Um, all the video footage, um, so that's what I've been using for that. Um, this thing here, it's obviously got the foam surrounds on it, never broken a prop, crashed it so many times it just bounces straight off and hadn't ha haven't had to fix a thing. So if you're going to get into quadcopters, definitely get something like this just to start off with, because um, they're really easy to fly, um, and once you learn it, it applies to pretty much any. So they've just got a little lithium battery pack and a simple gyro board in there. Um, you can get all little add-on modules and stuff for them as well, but it's more fun making your own add-ons, I think. I put some LED strips and stuff around the outside, and that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, these just use regular brush motors. Um, one thing about these, though, is they're really noisy. Um, definitely a difference between, like, these and the brushless motors. <coughs> and then the most recent one, this one here. Um, this one's actually a 3D Robotics quadcopter kit. Um, I bought it as the frame and also the electronics um, and basically you assemble it yourself. You can also buy a ready to fly version but uh, it's a little, well it's about a hundred bucks more um, and you still have to do a bit of assembly anyway so it's cheaper just to get the kit. Um, I mean in terms of assembly and everything this thing was just awesome. Um, had no issues with it at all. Uh, flew straight as soon as I, well, straight as soon, yeah. Flew as soon as I got it going. Um, yeah, no issues at all with it. And I've um, tested it a fair bit and tried, you know, most of the modes, and yeah, it's just been rock solid. Um, so yeah, it just uses the um, little brushless motors they give you. These are the uh, stock pro propellers as well. Um, got a few spare ones from Hobby King, like these glow in the dark. But one thing I've noticed is, well, these are what are they? Ten by ten by four point seven props which don't seem to be that common at all. So Hobby King has a bunch of props that are 10 by 4.5, which will work just fine. Um, problem I've had though, if you look at the, compare the thickness of the hubs there, it really doesn't give you enough room to keep the spaces on the on the uh, propeller adapters. So yeah, haven't, haven't uh, tried those ones yet, but haven't needed to, I haven't broken any props or anything yet, which is pretty surprising. Um, so yeah, just standard configuration. I'm using uh, three cell five amp hour packs. These weigh about 400 grams or so each. Just the XT60 connectors on them. <clears throat> so I've got two of those. Um, they come with their own 
ESCs, which are just, I guess, re rebadged, reflashed ESCs. Um, but yeah, it's just running the APN, APM 2.6 with the uh, external, what is it, external GPS and compass module. So you can see the APM down in there under all the wiring. Um, we've also got the little voltage telemetry module here. You can sort of see it running across there. So yeah, this thing is insanely handy. Um, saves you crashing so much from low batteries. Just it's a really great thing to have just gives you a readout of your battery voltage and you can get an add-on current and uh, temperature sensor for it as well. Um, same trans transmitter using a uh, Turnergy 9X um, which I've put a little backlight into as well so it looks kinda cool. Um, but yeah, this thing flies really well. I um, haven't had to do anything with the PID, PID settings or anything like that. Just flies straight, straight out of the box pretty much. Um, so you got the receiver on that side the camera on here, I'll talk about that a bit later. Um, then on the other side you just got the uh, 900 megahertz telemetry module so it's got all the features. Um, all up with the camera and the battery weighs about 1.6 kilos so it is pretty hefty. Um, definitely don't want it crashing into anything especially people because well it's gonna go through whatever it crashes into basically. Uh, luckily I haven't had that issue yet come close, um, have actually crashed it once, um, but luckily the damage was limited to pretty much just that dent in the arm, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so now I'll go into a bit more details about what I've done with this thing. Um, so I've got this little sports camera I talked about earlier. Um, because it's actually a sports camera, it actually does really well with video. I mean, the image stability um, on the video is really good with this. Um, but in terms of image quality, like for the pictures and stuff, yeah, not that great. Um, so what I decided to do is I got this, um, picked it up today. Um, it's the Canon PowerShot A4000IS. Um, reason I got this camera is because you can run the um, run some custom firmware on it. You've probably heard of it before. Um, don't know how you pronounce it. It's CHDK. Um, basically allows you to, you know have a bunch of new features on the camera that you don't normally get with the stock firmware. Uh, so reason for putting this that firmware on this is well obviously it can trigger the shutter remotely so it's got a USB cable here which is for the shutter um, and that's connected directly to the APM. There's no electronics on that cable at all. Um, so the it's just connected to the APM um, camera trigger shutter output I guess that just supplies 5 volts into the USB connector and that triggers the camera so you can set that up so it starts filming or it takes a picture or you can have it burst mode or you can even you know script it so if you hold the throttle well not the throttle if you hold the shutter switch in for you know 10 seconds it'll zoom and that sort of thing so that's a really nifty way of doing it so I've just mapped it to on the uh, transmitter here I wanted to put it on this switch up the back here just because it's a, um, a momentary switch see if it just bounces back but um, I wasn't able to map that one to anything, so I've got to put the um, ER9X custom firmware on this thing if I want to do that. Um, so instead I've put it on this one over here, which is just a standard toggle switch. So flick it up to take a photo basically, take it back to reset it, flick it up, take a photo. That's all you got to do. Um, in terms of everything else, now I've got this set up. I've got the standard uh, six, six flight mode switch configuration. So you've got this switch here which switches between the two, I guess, major modes and then this one here which lets you go into the individual mode. So full back, full up is stabilized mode and I've got it so if you flick that it goes into loiter, bring that down one notch, it goes to land, RTL, um, then also if you have that all the way back and that all the way down it's in super simple mode. So just a really easy way of experimenting with it. Um, I find that I use loiter mode a lot. Uh, definitely one of the best modes on there. Pretty much the only modes I haven't tested yet are Acro and Auto mode. Um, everything else works perfectly, so shouldn't have any issues with those. But um, just haven't taken it anywhere big enough to you know try Auto mode and Acro mode. Well, you know, I don't know. Flying a stabilized mode just seems a lot easier. So yeah, um, yeah, that's basically the whole setup. 
what I'll probably do is just to trim a bit of weight off is this camera you can get a um, dummy battery pack for it so instead of having to have a battery in this camera it can just you know run off the battery of the copter and that'll take a bit of weight off and I won't have to worry about charging it in the stupid little charger thing oh, excuse me um, yeah just thought I'd show you what I've been doing these videos on um, I've got a few cool pictures which I'll probably link in, in the description um, basically taken with this with this camera while it was flying um, but yeah I'm trying to do some video footage of it actually flying tomorrow of the actual copter itself I'm planning to take it out somewhere so I'll upload that if I get that done but um, yeah that's all for now thanks for watching